We all face challenges and no man on the face of the earth is a stranger to challenging circumstances. Hello listeners, I'm Faith Mdanuka and I welcome you all to this new episode in our podcast which focuses on how to overcome challenges. Brother Francis Brown will enlighten us on various challenges we may face or have faced as well as some tips on how we may overcome them. You might be having challenges with waking up early, being consistent or being truthful. Well, whatever it may be, we have this segment for you and we hope that you get to face and deal with challenges in a more positive way. I can assure you that this will be an exciting and educative segment. Well, let us dive right into it and learn more on overcoming challenges. Hello, this is Francis Brown. Welcome to this podcast. I'll be sharing on how to overcome challenges. Well, what is a challenge? A challenge is a call to confrontation. It could be in a situation of a competition where two opponents are put to fight and a winner is decided after ability and strength is shown by one to over- overpower the other. Now, a challenge can also be an invitation that is made to someone to engage in a contest. Now, regardless of what kind of, com- of, of situation it could be, it just lets you know that a challenge is a call to confrontation. Now, in these times we're in, especially that we have been faced with a global pandemic which has lasted over a year now, I'm sure many of you would have found yourself in one challenge or the other. It could be in a situation where someone lost their job, someone lost their loved one to the COVID-19, someone lost their business as a result of poor economic uh, activities, or someone could have lost Um, something that was very important to them. I don't know what challenge could have been or what you could have been experiencing so far. Could be of lack of financial support to start a business or could be lack of, of financial support to keep a business running or it could be anything that you have to have to do with your relationship with people or with your relation in emotional crisis or in or physical challenge in your health i don't know what it could be but i'm here to tell you that there are different kind of situations of challenges that we do face in life and it's always important that we take note that challenges never cease as long as we live on this earth we will be faced with one particular challenge or the other and the challenge of one person always could be or in one way peculiar or the same with the challenge of another but it also could be on different levels in terms of the magnitude of it now both old and young face challenges in life poor and rich face challenges in life there is no one human being that is exempted from challenges and that is to let you know and come to the point of of realization and to consciously think that challenges are real and they never cease some are visible and some are invisible some are tangible some are intangible however the case and however they present themselves it's always important to be in a position where you are ready to overcome how then can you be prepared for challenges so that when they come you are always ready and you know what to do to overcome the first one is confrontation confrontation is the act of showing up all right show up and face it show up and face it regardless of what it is sometimes when we look at the magnitude of our challenges or the issues of our lives we give up the fight we give up in fact before we could ever think of fighting we think to ourselves that it is impossible for us to handle we think to ourselves that we do not have the capacity or what it takes to overcome the challenge always think of your challenge as an adversary and see it as an enemy see it as an opponent an opposite force an opposing force until you realize that that is an enemy to you you will never see the aim or the reason to fight and win because in life what you do to overcome challenge is to confront it and you confront it by taking action to fight and to win over it so it's always very important a perfect example is a man i love so much in the bible named david david 
was a prophet of God who was mightily used of God and also a political figure who was very successful in his rulership whilst he was king of Israel. But remember before he became king of Israel he was faced with different kinds of challenges. The first was when he was taking care of his father's sheep, a bear and a lion came after his flock and he had to slay the bear and the lion. And then the big one after he was anointed king of Israel, when the prophet of God anointed him king, he had to face a Goliath, a giant, and he slew the giant. And he became king when he was anointed king. Before he became king, he had an, oppo an opponent who was Saul, the very self-king who almost killed him because he was becoming more famous over the land of Israel. Now, you see, at every different stage of victory came another challenge, meaning there is always your current present situation is a preparation for the next challenge that you'd have to face in life. And so never think challenges cease. The only one who does not have a challenge is the one who is at the burial ground and who is no longer alive today. However, no matter what the situation may be, no matter what you are faced with, no matter what you are currently dealing with, I'm here to tell you that it is possible to win and to overcome challenges regardless of what it could be. You have to learn to confront, to fight, to face it and to win. So confrontation is actually something you must do. Show up and it will definitely give you strength to fight it. Remember all David needed to do was to show up at the army ground where the Philistines were trying to fight against Israel, the children of Israel. He just needed to show up. The strength for the fight came when he showed up. So show up. Don't go back home sleeping and thinking, giving up already before you could ever even think of fighting. And the second important thing I want to tell you on how to overcome challenge is strategy. You know, a lot of many of us don't know how to strategize. And we always think of life as it comes. We always do life as it comes. We don't know what it is to plan. We don't know what it is to prepare. We don't know what it is to always be ready. I always say this, that a life well planned will turn out to be a life well lived. Because a life well planned will know definitely what to do and how to do what to do when challenges arise. So that you are not in shock or in dismay or in disappointment or in, 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 in depression when you are faced with those challenges. So the, the thing on how to strategize is number one, expect challenges. Under strategy, expect challenges and prepare for them. How do you, you may ask, how do I prepare for challenges? Well, always have a plan. When it comes to your finances, come up with a budget on how to spend and to be effective in your expenditure. If it has to do with your health, well, keep fit. Always exercise if it has to be, if it will take you to exercise every morning when it comes to your health, go and exercise, go for running, take a walk, go for jogging. When it comes to your mental uh, situation where you have to deal with stress or any other thing, learn to create time for leisure. Don't always spend time exhausting yourself, stressing yourself, worrying, panicking or trying to get fix everything or trying to get everything done like most of the workaholics do. I happen to have fallen into the trap of, of, of a performer because I always liked to be the highest performer in every given situation. But you see, it can cost you if you think you are not content, if you are not content with your level of achievement as you go in life. Sometimes you need to take a break from the stress of life and relax your mind. Other things you can do in order to overcome some of your challenges, it could be lack of finances, plan a business. If you don't plan a business, even though you start a business today, it may not go anywhere. That's why it's important to strategize. Plan for that business. Plan for how you will start it and how it will continue running. These are just but few tips that I could tell you on how you can actually overcome your challenges. 
I will take it all going from the top. The first one I said, confrontation. Go and face your challenges. Show up, fight, and win. Number two, strategize. Plan, and then you will definitely have the victory over them. And I'll leave you with this word to say, fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, and definitely you will have good success. Enjoy. God bless. Wow. What an amazing segment this has been. Thank you, Brother Francis Brown, for feeding us with such a rare piece of life-changing material. I personally have had my eyes open to strategically planning for my life. To our listeners, I'm so grateful to you for being here. Remember to show up, fight, win, and plan. God has you covered. Till next time on the VSI Podcast, it's been Faith Mutanoka.